be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basis back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because it's coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a filter sweep in Logic Pro, the simple and easy way. So I'm gonna let you hear what I got first, and then we're gonna do the filter sweep. So pretty much you just have this going out, um, just a loop here, just for demonstration purposes. So the first thing, if we're gonna do a filter sweep, we're gonna do it through automation. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. If you don't have that open, you can also just go to the mixer window, click there. I'm pre pretty much using the inspector window. But all you have to do is select the frequency that you want to filter. So say if it's highs, you select that. If it's lows, you select this. Um, and then from there, we're just going to push the letter A, and then it's going to pull up your automation. From here, all you have to do is go and click on volume and then scroll down to where you see the EQ. Okay. And then since we're going to be doing the high frequency, we'll click on that. And then you can pretty much just control by selecting these not these nobs, not, not nobs. When you just select these little guys right here, you just click and put these little dots here and it's gonna create a filter sweep. Let's check it out. Now, the cool thing about this is, you know, since it's automated, I can come in here and change everything around. I can take it and make it start off like around here. As you can see, as I'm moving this point up and down, it's moving up and down the frequency range here. So say if I wanted to set, like start off here with hardly any highs and then move into uh, something that has more highs, that's how you do it. You can also do other cool things here, put other points so I can have this going and going in and out like this. Obviously, when you put it all the way down, it kind of has like almost dead editing effect. So I would recommend taking it like somewhere around here. Um, so it doesn't go all the way down. Also, the cool thing about this is, like, say if I had another audio piece of audio in here, I can automate both to do different things at the same time. So let's say if I got a, like a drum beat. Let's just throw that in there and see how that sounds. And push command R and then join it command J so now same deal you know we have the track click here we're gonna click on that one here because we want that frequency to be automated push a some volume go down to the EQ high cut frequency and now we can start off something like this So we're going to do something like a reverse effect here 
if you will, the drums. Let's check it out. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video. Appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. Make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to the channel if you're not already. Hit that like button, share the video with your friends and everything like that. People you know that could benefit from this. Also, make sure you join the channel for uh, the channel perks, okay? That's gonna give you extra videos throughout the month. We don't drop tons and tons of videos on there, but you will get extra videos at least a couple of week every week um, when you drop the videos on there. It's only three month three dollars to join the channel perks, and then you can also go to my site beatmakingbasics.com, grab a course, grab all of the courses and kits and sound kits with the Beat Making Master Bundle, or just whatever you want, whatever you feel like you need to take your beats to the next level. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.